morning guys so I just finished editing my bridal shower vlog and that was like so much fun being able to relive it I'm so happy I started vlogging like every time I don't know I get to like relive a, you know kind of you know a special moment like that it just it's just so cool that I get to you know kind of relive my bridal shower whenever I want thanks to vlogging so yeah I had a lot of fun even a couple days later kind of re-watching the footage that I got from that and re-experiencing like all the cute decorations and stuff and yes yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my bridal shower um and I've also kind of today slowly been going through all the pictures that I took um because I, I know I want to, you know, share them on Facebook so that all my friends and family can see. And I also think I'm going to try and share them in um, maybe the blog post connected with the bridal shower haul video that I'm going to do for my main channel. Um, so that I can share, you know, some of the pictures with you guys as well. But yeah, I, um, I have a ton, like a ton. I think there was like 500-ish pictures or something from that day. And so I'm slowly kind of sorting through those pictures and pulling out the ones that are actually, you know, good enough to share. And... Yeah, but again, it's also kind of just fun to re-look through all the pictures, and I've only kind of quickly skimmed through them once, and so now I'm kind of really looking at them, and yeah, it's been a lot of fun, um, but that's been my day so far. So I successfully narrowed down all of our bridal shower pictures to 165, which is still a crazy amount, but it's not 500. So... I'm calling it a day. I'm uploading them to Facebook now. Melissa actually got home from work, but she headed back out to the gym, as she does. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm probably going to do some more work on wedding stuff. I did hear back from um, a couple of the emails I sent yesterday, and so that's awesome. And so I kind of responded to those, and I'm staying on top of, you know, uh, setting up appointments with the vendors that we still kind of need to meet with to, like... And, like, the stuff we need to do, like, our engagement pictures that we get with our photo video package... And hopefully we'll be doing those next week, which will be really, really exciting. We're doing, like, a completely different look. Since we already had engagement pictures taken, um, we're kind of doing a completely, you know, a different look, basically. Because um, my dream engagement pictures looks like the ones that we already got taken. And it's, you know, outside with lots of green, light, bright, fresh, and airy. And um, so I didn't really want to do, like, two sets of the same pictures, especially since they're so close together in time. Like, it's not like we look any different. So... I thought it would be really fun to kind of do something completely different. Wow, I've said this like five times now. Okay, the point is we're going to be getting them done like in the city. Um, we live right outside of Baltimore City, and so we were going to go into the city to get our pictures taken, and I'm going to be wearing, I think, a black dress. I think I'm going to be wearing the same um, outfit that I wore to like our little courthouse ceremony thing, and yeah, I thought that was kind of like a fun little touch. And yeah, so we're going down to Fells Point in Baltimore City, well, that's the plan. We haven't, like, officially scheduled it yet, but that's what I'm thinking. And, yeah, because I really like some of the cool city engagement shoots that I've seen on Pinterest. And so I'm excited to kind of, I don't know, do that ourselves. Is that your mom? Oh, did she get you? Bless you. She gonna get you. <laughs> You guys are goofy. Where are you going? Get her. Get her. <laughs> uh oh, I think you killed mom. You should probably check on her, make sure she's okay. Yeah, or, or sniff the carpet. from <laughs> I think you just like legit surprised her <laughs> where'd it go yeah it was just there where is it <laughs> where's your ball now she goes off for five minutes trying to find it. <laughs> and realize, oh, you had it again, Mom? <laughs> Is it over there? Maybe you left it in the living room. That's a good idea. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Where is it? Yeah, I know you have it, Mom. 
<laughs> there it is. Do you have your ball? Dinner is served. We are having pork tenderloin, right? That's what that is? Yeah. Pork tenderloin and some green beans and some quinoa. Nice, fresh, healthy dinner. I feel like we haven't had a lot of those recently, so I'm really excited about it. And thank you, Melissa, for cooking dinner. You're welcome. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> I had an inner battle about whether to go eat canoba or cook dinner. The struggle was real. It lasted about a half an hour, which in that time I could have just cooked dinner. <laughs> and we made the healthy choice, so... So we are going to eat dinner and watch some of our shows. I don't know what we have. We might watch more when we rise, because I think we have we have one or two more of those. They're like hour and a half episodes, and we have at least one left of that. As far as I know, that's all we have, so I don't know. I'll have to look and see what we have readily available. <laughs> all right, guys, so it's a little later, and we finished dinner, and I've just been relaxing and watching some TV. We watched Bates Motel, and now we're watching The Fosters. What? You Melissa always laughs at me because I tell you guys watch. what we watch. I think it's interesting. I like hearing like what shows other people watch, and so I don't know. Letting you guys know what we watch, so, so there. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna end the vlog now because it's getting a little late. Melissa is putting away like the leftovers from dinner, and then she's gonna make some popcorn for us. And yeah, mainly for you. what? Mainly for you. Mainly for me. What? Popcorn. Popcorn. You put the popcorn too. You wanted it so bad earlier. What have you done with your evening? Hmm. What have you done with your evening? <laughs> I've been working on my bullet journal. Kind of trying to get back caught up with that. I feel like planning a wedding does not lend itself nicely to bullet journaling. Especially the bullet journaling that I do. That's like pretty intense for like the setup for each layout. Like, because I don't do like traditional bullet journaling, journaling where you like just write it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I might have to start doing that with mine just for yeah. the time being. Because I know, I need I've to like... So, like not on top of it. It sucks though because when I do have time to like set up like the weekly layout that I have been using it's really been working well for me like I like having that whole big like wedding tasks section to like separate out the wedding stuff and like so it works it's just it takes so much time to set everything up that like I'm not doing it so I'm not having a planner which me sucks. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. But who knows only for the next couple months and then the wedding will be over. That's so crazy it's less than two months guys. I think it's less than 60 days. How insane is that? Like, that's so it crazy. Is, it's less than 60. Yeah. It's gonna be here Look, so soon. Yeah. We have so much to do. We'll get it done. I know. Just won't do anything else for the next two months. Nothing but wedding planning. <laughs> Maybe you. I better start a new job. I know. Melissa got another new keyboard. <laughs> She ended up returning the one that I showed you guys before because she didn't like it because it was like really, really loud when she typed. Sorry, Melissa's making popcorn if you can hear her doing like the kernels and stuff in the background. But um, she ended up returning that one and I got a couple questions about it. It was a Razer keyboard and the new one you got is Razer too, right? Yeah. Yes. So the old one, for those who asked, hold on. The old one was the new keyboard that Razer put out called the Ornata, which was like lower profile keys and different switches and the new one is just like the tournament version of like the black widow chroma and it came with a fancy um, carrying case yeah <laughs> which i'll never use <laughs> but um it has their silent switches in it it's a lot easier to press down the keys like i played with like well your but right current now one. i have a what do you have Sair, okay and it's got the silent cherry switches in it um but it it, it feels weird to type on it it's like really soft it's not springy at all the old one yeah the old one i feel like it's a lot harder to like push down the keys like they feel like it's like a i don't know not heavier but just like that there's more resistance to like push it fully down i don't know the new keyboard is very nice it also came with a nice little armrest and a free mouse so i bought the armrest you no, I, I know. I said it came with the wrist rest. Well, okay, you bought the wrist yeah. rest, and it came with a free mouse. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start popcorn. Yeah, I think that's all the exciting news that we have for today. So we are gonna go to bed after. Well, we're gonna make popcorn and then finish our show and then go to bed. But I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to follow along with all of our daily vlogs. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm.